Hey there, thanks so much. Ah, uh, sorry, go okay. Go, come on. Three, two, one. Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duckworks. I'm Chris, and welcome to another brand new Lego Ninjago Dragons Rising set review. This is a four plus set, Nia and Aaron's Baby Dragon Battle. It comes strangely with a lightning dragon and not a water dragon for Nia, but maybe that is relevant to the story. At the time of this recording, the sets and story have not been released yet, so I do not know what's gonna happen, but this is quite exciting. It looks to be a really solid four plus set, so I can't wait to showcase this for all of you. And stay tuned to Duckworks for reviews of not just this, but the entire Lego Ninjago Dragon's Rising Wave coming your way very soon. And so let's jump right in to this review. Okay, so this is Nia and Aaron's Baby Dragon Battle. It has 157 pieces and retails for 35 US dollars or 32 euros, which is pretty reasonable at least for a 4 plus or junior set or at least within the realm of what we are very used to. Typically, for those who don't know, sets that are aimed at a 4 plus audience are usually a lot more expensive than normal sets because for the pieces, they use really large one-off pieces that really act as big bases and chunks of plastic for kids to play with and and it's just kind of always how they have been priced. 35 for this, honestly, compared to some of the crazy overpriced sets in this wave of Ninjago Dragons Rising sets, is not actually that bad. First of all, I want to take a quick look at the minifigures. Now, we have already given my full thoughts on the figures in my minifigure mega review, which I recently posted a couple days ago, so do go check that out if you want to see an up-close look at all the minifigs at once, but Here's what we can see. It includes Aaron and Nia on the ninja team. So Aaron here is wielding a specialized new grappling hook rubberized piece, as well as for this set, his accessory is a little bit of a chicken leg on a stick here to be able to feed to the dragon itself. The facial expression underneath is a pretty standard one with just a smile because the hair piece that he is typically using does not cover all the back of the head. So they only have one head piece here. My thoughts and opinions on the new design for the armor, mask, and hood remain the same in that I honestly don't like it that much because you cannot turn the minifigures' heads even if you have just the hair on. You can't really have the heads turned with the armor on because the mask is part of the armor. Nia uses a water mask as well as an alternate expression on the other side where you can see the regular eyes, which is always good to see that. And taking a look at the head itself, you can see she has a smile on one side and of course the heads up display on the other side. One thing I like about the torso design is the little mix of hints of dark red in the mostly azure and gunmetal gray design. One thing I will note about these minifigures is that for the 4 plus sets, they only come with one sword and not two. So I'm guessing that LEGO just figured that younger kids would be frustrated with having too many things to stick in their backs. So they only have one sword, which is... Okay, I mean, it's not that big of a problem, but it's just something I figured I would point out. Of course, the set also includes the baby dragon Ryu, who is basically a new character in his own right. He is a specialized new mold, which is unfortunately not rubberized. I kind of wish it was so you could flap the wings. It's just hard plastic, but it is really, really cute, and I really like this animal mold. Lastly, for the villain aside, for Imperium, we have one of the Imperium Claw Hunter Generals. This is a really good looking minifigure. The helmet looks fantastic. I love the almost beetle like design. And the utilization of the new dual molded gunmetal gray and transparent orange sword element is very cool as well. This may be one of my favorite new blade elements from Ninjago. Removing the head and helmet, you can see this is what the torso looks like underneath. A very detailed technological design which almost feels like it's from a completely different theme, which makes sense because they are supposed to be from a different realm, and he even has printing on the back of the head which was not required because it's covered by the helmet, but is still a nice to have. But setting aside the minifigures, I think we can take a look at the set in and of itself and just overall see what is included in this $35 battle pack. So obviously the main focus of the set is this lightning dragon. For the lightning dragon, they have recolored the new dual molded specialized ice cr dragon creature headpiece from this year's Ninjago core lineup and instead used it for the lightning dragon itself, which I think works out very well. Now the head print is a little bit strange to me. I can't quite tell if the, those at the front are supposed to be nostrils or are those just other eyes? Like does this have four eyes? I don't really know. Folks in the comments let me know. I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be nostrils, but they're also the same color as the eyes, so it's a little bit confusing to me. And from a distance, like from this angle, it kind of looks like there are four eyes, but I don't know. It looks cool. They're probably supposed to be nostrils, but I can pretend they're four eyes if I want this to have a more unique feel in my own headcanon. Now, the articulation of the dragon is fairly standard for a 4 plus set. You have mixel joint detail, you have the ratchet joints on the back here, and of course you also can flap the wings 
up and down on the Mixel joint. This is the very first time we have gotten these wing elements in transparent yellow, which is very cool. We're getting a recolor for a junior set, as well as using the Jurassic Park slash World Raptor dinosaur leg pieces, recolored with dragon scales in this metallic shiny blue color, which works out really well. I like that they are utilizing those pieces for the dragons because it works really well and they are very simple to put together. The mouth does not open. It is just kind of a standard brick built construction, but I think that's fine. And this is almost a baby version of the massive Jira Dragon, which is the Lightning Dragon in the Elemental Dragon versus Empress Mech set. So I like that in the wave you can get two different versions of a Lightning Dragon, a big one and a baby one. Now, moving on from that, we can take a look at these other components of the set here, where you have a flyer from Imperium. So this is utilizing a specialized new printed element for Imperium, as well as a really nice new motorcycle dashboard print. This is also included in the Captain America and Black Widow motorcycle chase set for the Lego Marvel Infinity Saga set line, which is a new print for summer 2023. Very cool to see that. And overall, while this is pretty simple, it is actually using the same exact large body part as the dragon itself in the same color, no less. This is a really nice flyer that does fit in well with the rest of the Imperium vehicles, and I feel like aesthetically speaking, it doesn't actually feel too juniorized. It feels pretty good to me in terms of how it's set up, so that's why I kind of like this. Now there are a lot of throwaway builds also included in the set, and this is really where I feel like, honestly, they could have cut out some of these or all of these and made this a $30 or $25 set. You have a disc launcher for Imperium, so this is using the Legends of Chima disc launcher that they used in the battle packs right there in the color scheme of Imperium. You also have this little bit of a gateway with a blue crystal on the top. Almost feels kind of like a Chima build in the way that they've got the lime green pieces here and then it's in grass and kind of growing out of that with a blue crystal. And you also have a bit of a campfire here. Honestly, these don't really add much to me. They're kind of just random throwaway parts of the set. I like how they add some bits and pieces of scenery, I guess, to flesh out the world, but they also feel like they are literally just here for making the set feel like it has more value to it, like there is more that you are actually getting when you buy the set, and honestly, I feel like they easily could have either just made this dragon and this flyer a good $25 junior set, but since the price was $35, they were like, ah, okay, I guess we can throw some other stuff in. Thankfully, though, what I will say is that the $35 price point for a 4 plus set is not that bad. Actually, compared to a lot of the other stupidly overpriced 4 plus things like we get for Star Wars or even stuff we've gotten for Ninjago in the past, 35 is not awful for this. Do I feel like they could have scrapped the middle part and made it 25? Absolutely. I mean, let's be real, they could have scrapped the middle part and made it 20, and I feel like that still would have been fine. But at least with this, I kind of understand the thought process behind the price because it is 4+. Plus. 4 plus sets are always expensive. They use larger pieces. You have new dual molding. You have new recolors. You have greatly detailed minifigures. So I'm not going to be too harsh on this as I have been on a lot of the other sets, which basically have no excuse for being as expensive as they are. With that, that basically sums up my thoughts on the set. The only final oddity that I will mention is that we have a Lightning Dragon, but no J, instead we have Nia, and in the Destiny's Bounty we have a Water Dragon, but no Nia. Huh. Feels kind of weird to me. Otherwise, this is a really great build, fun to play with, and that's all I have to say about this 4 plus set. Alright, and with that, we've summed up our look at Nia and Eren's Baby Dragon Battle. This is a 4 plus set, but it's actually a really solid one. Honestly, the 4 plus sets from this wave of Ninjago have been pretty good. Of course, let me know what you think of this down in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. Thanks, and bye for now.